Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this glam with the 9 years ago palette by Dose of Colors. If you guys have any color suggestions, make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below because I do need some ideas for other eyeshadow looks. So make sure you guys comment any color you guys would like for me to do down in the comments. First, we're going to be starting off with this dark brown shade, you guys. I did not set my concealer, and we're going to be patting this down all over our crease and our lid. So I'm going to be building up the intensity of this shade, you guys. Since I didn't set my concealer, I'm going to be adding some more product little by little so that it starts getting darker and it sets our concealer with the eyeshadow. As you guys can see, I'm still patting this on there. As soon as it gets very, very dark and it looks like it's ready to blend, we will start blending. See, like right now, I'm doing circular motions and we are doing side to side motions just to get this color to look smooth and blended. Just so you guys know, the brush that I'm using is from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. These are my favorite brushes, you guys. I have been using these for years, so if you guys are interested, you guys know where to get them. They are from Morphe. Next, I'm going in with this brown shade, and I'm going to be blending out the black and the brown together. Remember, you guys, do not take this color up to your brow bone. We are going to try to keep this on our crease as best as possible. Make sure when you guys are blending, you're doing small circles and side-to-side -side motions, you guys. That seems to get the job done. While I'm blending, you guys, oh my god, let me tell you, <laughs> I am rushing to edit like four videos right now because there's nobody in the house and this is like the only quiet time i get so here i am trying to film this tutorial for you guys and like three other ones <laughs> anyways back to the tutorial because i get carried away i'm gonna go back in with the black eyeshadow or dark brown and we're gonna be just filling this up because the product did come off since we were blending a lot so just make sure you add some more product and blend it out again just so that it intensifies the eyeshadow color Next, we're going to be going in with this coral-like color. It's kind of like a light pink slash coral color. I don't even know how to describe this. Anyways, we're going to be blending this out at the very, very top, you guys. Do not be afraid to touch your brow bone with this shade because it's very light. And we're going to be blending that and the brown together. And now I'm going in with the eye makeup remover liquid and these pointy q-tips and I'm just going to be cutting my crease. You guys, these pointy q-tips are from my website. I actually sell them. So if you guys are interested, the link is down below on my website here in the description. And so yeah, you guys, we're going to be cutting our crease right now. We're not going to take this all the way, just halfway up to right there. And then we're just going to be removing this extra eyeshadow down here. Just make sure you guys do it carefully. You do not want to mess up your lines. Usually what I like to do, you guys, I flip the Q-tip over and I use the dry clean side to take out the excess oil from the makeup remover liquid. See, I just turned it around and I'm just going to be removing any of that product that stayed on there because we are going to be applying a base and we do not want it to have the eye makeup remover liquid or it can mess the whole look up. And with the new Q <laughs> with the new Q-tip, I'm going to be cleaning out the edge. Oh my god, you guys, I'm really struggling here. <laughs> I speak English, I swear. Now I'm going in with the Beauty Creations Foundation, and I love to use this as a base, you guys. It has a very thick consistency, so it is my favorite to use for this. Just look at how white and nice this looks. Also, this brush, you guys, is from my website. You guys can purchase it down below. It is part of my brush collection from my brand. So down in the description, click the link to my website and I will package up your order right away and you will get your brush. This has been my favorite brush for months now, you guys. Like, I, I had never used it um, previously, like last year. And then this year, for whatever reason, when I started, like, getting consistent with my makeup again <laughs> i started using this brush and i just have never changed it i love this brush for my cut creases okay you guys next we're going to be going in with a shimmery shade and let me just tell you guys if there's any shades that are the most blendable and easiest to apply whether they're shimmery or regular i swear like dose of colors is your brand to go to because these come on so smoothly like look at look at how that went on you guys like i didn't even have to grab more product while i was applying this and it filled up the whole base 
it's bomb I recommend it. <laughs> Next, we're going to be blending the outer corner. I'm going back in with the light coral shade that I used. And I'm only applying a small amount of product just to blend out that outer area. And we're also going to be grabbing the brown shade as well. This one right here. And we're going to be blending that out right behind the coral color. We are not going to cover it up. And we are also going to be grabbing some more of that dark dark brown almost black shade and we're going to be applying this right there as well and we're going to continue to repeat these steps until they actually blend really good you guys because we do not want any of the white showing and we are now applying this pink slash reddish color i don't even know what to describe this color as you guys but i love it it is a shimmery shade as you guys can see here on the screen i love this shade you guys it came on so easily and right after we apply that, we're going to be blending out the outer corner one more time with the black shade. And just look at how well those colors look blended together. It just gives it that extra pop, you guys. Now I'm going in with my Morphe mascara and I'm only going to be applying a couple of coats, you guys. I barely even have any eyelashes. I just need my lashes to blend with my falsies. So we're just applying a decent amount of mascara and i'm going to be going in with these eyelashes that i purchased on amazon i'm going to be linking these down below so you guys can see them on my amazon storefront if you guys would like to purchase them but you guys these are so perfect i use these for all of my makeup tutorials they're bomb they look so nice and they were very very cheap so this is what the glam looks like you guys thank you so much for watching comment hmm cut crease down below if you guys watch this video all the way through and it shows me that you guys are a real one you already know the drill <laughs> anyways you guys thank you so much for watching remember to like this video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye